PNG RFL chairman Sandy Saka said the 42-year-old is no stranger to rugby league, having played and coached the game at many levels and is fitting for the job. Uh, for the last two years, he's won various awards, both domestically and internationally as a player and a coach. And uh, we know that for the upcoming test match, uh, he and the team will do the boys proud. Marum himself has played in the local leagues before making a debut for the Kumuls in 2000, before taking up coaching responsibilities. On the international level, Marum was assistant coach to Adrian Lam, Stanley Gane and Mal Meninga. He said he was privileged to take up the role as Kumuls coach for the match against the Butties. Yeah, I think uh, I've been uh, involved with the uh, national team and uh, a number of years now as player and coach and I think uh, I've been, uh, always been assisting uh, various coaches so, uh, to take control of the, uh, the, uh, the side, I think it's his uh, honor. And uh, yeah, uh, on top of the uh, uh, already uh, job with the Hunters there. So. Marum's coaching techniques with the Hunters will be the same with the Kumuls, but may vary because of the level of competition. We, we want to stick to uh, what we've been doing, as uh, maybe the majority, majority of the boys will probably come from the Hunters and also the, uh, the boys that have left us played overseas like Kato Otio, the Wellington brothers. I think that they're used to that, that, that game we, we've been playing before. So. And also, that's just a game plan that uh, we used to have with Mal Meninga and uh, Adrian Lamb. So. Marum's role as Kumuls coach is not permanent. It's only for the match on the 7th of May in Parramatta. Following the match, the PNG RFL board will appoint a permanent coach to lead the Kumuls to the 2017 World Cup. Elijah Lavette, National MTV Sports.